undergraduate studies. He's just going to give you a really, really short overview of what that is, how it came into being, and what you can look forward to this year. Over to you, Brian. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, good morning. Um, so I understand um, that there was a night out at um, Ministry of Sound last night. So uh, anyone who went to that and is here today, well, well done. Um, <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm Brian. I am uh, the Director of Undergraduate Studies, which means that I have an overview for all of the undergraduate programmes, including all the four that you're on uh, this year. Um, I also will teach all of you next term, because I teach macroeconomics, which you'll all be doing as a compulsory option, compulsory module next term, um, which some of you will enjoy. Um, okay, so I just want to talk a bit about um, what we've done to the curriculum and why it's kind of new. Um, you'll get a lot more detail on this in your programme meetings. So I know business management and economics management this afternoon, you're getting um, a session with your programme directors, international management and accounting and finance over the next few days. They'll go into exact details about what you're going to do and what uh, courses you're going to study. Um, I just want to talk about the general approach that we've adopted. So we spent the last 18 months since we became a standalone business school thinking about the offering we're making to undergraduates and trying to improve it. Um, and you're going to be the first students that are on the cohort that are going to experience that new program. Okay. Now, that might sound bad. It might sound like we're making you kind of uh, test, um, test experiments. Uh, the good news is it's built on what we've been doing already. So it's not, you know, it's kind of evolution rather than revolution. Um, so I just want to emphasize some of the things that we've changed. Um, the first thing we've done is we've made the first year broader than it was in the past. So in the past, um, you studied something like eight different subjects um, over the year. This year, you're going to study more like 10 or 12 different subjects. Now, that does, of course, mean you're doing them all at a slightly less intense level. But the idea is that we, what we want to do at the end of the first year is give you a sense of essentially all of the areas of business and economics and accounting that might interest you, so that going into your second and third year, you have a better understanding of the things you might be really interested in. And into the second and third year, what we're going to do is we're going to try and make it much clearer to you um, if you want to specialize in a particular area, how you do that. So although you'll all end up with a degree in business management or a degree in economics and management uh, or whatever, um, it may well be that you can end your three years saying, yeah, but I'm a particular expert in marketing or I'm a particular expert in strategy. And we'll have kind of helped direct you as to how you design your course, essentially, to let you do that. Um, so the first year will be much more rounded. The second thing that we've introduced is we've introduced two new modules that everyone in the business school has to take. So the idea here is that there's a kind of a core, um, core learning that we want you to experience that everyone's going to do. So this term it's called Social Science and Modern Business, which will start next week. And it's the only thing you'll be, pretty much the only thing you'll be doing next week is this Social Science and Modern Business course. You'll do it next week and then you'll do it again. You'll come back to it at the end of term. And then next Next academic term into January, you'll do something called business ethics and sustainability. Again, you'll have a week where that's all you study. And then at the end of the term, you'll do the same thing again. And you'll all be doing it. We'll be mixing you up. So whichever degree program we're on, you'll be working together. Um, and the idea is it kind of um, tries to round out the whole experience. So it's sort of all the other modules you'll be doing are very specialized. So they're like economics or accounting. They're very detailed. They're very kind of subject specific, very knowledge based. These two modules are about a bigger overview of kind of um, business and kind of uh, thinking about issues that face uh, modern business today. Um, so that's kind of a new project that we're running. They'll be examined in different ways. So I think the business ethics and sustainability, for example, will actually be using videos to, uh, you know, you'll be submitting a video to help part of your assessment. So a slightly different way of thinking about how we assess students. Um, and uh, as I say, completely new for you. More broadly, we'll, uh, what we've tried to do this year is to give you a broader range of assessment and teaching. So we, because you're all studying, by and large, the same subjects this year, um, what we've tried to do is look across those subjects and say, well, how are, we assessing, how are we assessing you? How are we teaching you? And try to give a lot of different types of assessment and teaching. So some subjects you'll do group work. Some subjects it will be traditional exams. Um, some you'll be doing um, coursework. Some you'll be doing essays. Some you'll be doing, as I say, video. Um, so lots of different ways of assessing you and lots of different ways of learning. It's kind of uh, the aim. Uh, there's also a new degree program, so anyone who's here who's doing accounting and finance, put your hand up. Well done. You really are new. So not only are you getting a new first year, but you're also the first students in the business school doing accounting and finance, so welcome. Um, so there's about 80 or 90 of you on that degree program. Um, so um, that's kind of the fourth degree program that now the business school offers as a core, part of our core offering. Um, this year, again, you'll be doing an awful lot of subjects with everyone else in the business school, so about 75% of 
your degrees are common in the first year, and then it's in the second and third year that you tend to specialize a bit more. And then the final thing we've done is we've introduced alongside your academic subjects that you'll study in your first year, a skills and professional development program. Now, by and large, these are optional things that we're going to offer you. Um, they're all in your, a lot of them are already in your timetable, so you'll see them, you don't, but they're, they're optional, they, they're not compulsory. But the idea is it's going to help you with all the things that academics aren't very good at. And the things that academics aren't very good at are, is by and large, anything that's useful in the real world. So um, what we've done is we've got people who are good at that kind of stuff to design a program that helps you with that kind of stuff. So it's stuff like um, how you work in teams, um, how you design um, a good CV, how you... Um, that will let me think of something as good. So, for example, next weekend, next weekend, we're doing a business simulation. Weekend after. Weekend after. So, a couple of weekends' time, there's going to be a day where you can come in on a Saturday, I think it is, and do a kind of a business simulation game that we've got some external consultants to run, which helps you think about kind of the sort of problems that you would face in a modern business and how you solve them. Okay. We've also, as Sally mentioned, got some international um, experiences where you can go to a foreign city for a, a week or two and experience that city and also think about the problems that that city faces and think of solutions. So the idea is that that will go alongside your degree program, but will be equally important. Yeah, we increasingly find employers um, saying to us, yeah, yeah, it's important that the students do well academically, but it's also important that they have a broader perspective. And this is part of the program to do that. Um, so there'll be more talk about that uh, both today and in your uh, uh, program meeting. Okay, so that's all I want to say. Um, so uh, welcome again. And um, I look forward to meeting you all next term when I teach you. Thanks very much. Let's give it to Kathy. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank you very much, Brian. So now we've got an um, uh, intro to Kings from two of our uh, Kings ambassadors. So this is Sparsh Segal, who is a third-year business management student. And this is Kavya Sivakuma, who is a second-year German and management student. Um, so I'm pretty sure I've got this all set up properly for you. Da -da -da -da. And... It's like, that's correct, right? You just need to go to present. Um, so that's just under Google. But there's your presentation. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So you just press down and click through the slides. OK. okay. All right. Um, so we need you guys to pull out your phones right now. This is just a quick poll just for us to see if we're kind of giving you the right information. Um, so just go to www.menti.com. And then we're going to give you a code to put in. Um, All right, so that's the code, it's 234698. Answer? Ray, very good. <laughs> you should be talking to the audience about it. Yeah. yeah. It's going on. So you were kind of yeah. edging towards that. Anything. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Oh. You guys have got your work cut out for you. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, guys. Very good. This is very positive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do not feel like that. Why am I here? <laughs> yeah, it's good for us. Okay. Well, that's all right then. The bar is high. <laughs> oh, there's a second one. My bad. Okay. This is the, the main one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you guys are going to get rated really poorly. Okay. And last one. Good, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Angela, uh, it's an open goal. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, so we're basically here to talk to you guys about Life at Kings. Um, it's basically a range of things that you can get involved in. 
um, as well as getting started here. Um, uh, with that, so getting started, uh, there's a lot of things that you need to do once you get here, um, like enrollment. So we're just going to go through a quick list just so that you kind of know that you've got everything in order for the first week start. Um, so starting off, you all probably should have gotten your ID cards by now, but if not, you would have gotten an enrollment email, and then you sign up for an enrollment session, and they'll give you your ID card. Um, if you're an international student, they'll also give you your BRP, which is really important to take with you when you travel. Otherwise, they will hold you to the side like they did when I took off it. So keep it with you. Um, next thing, to find out about your program. You've kind of done the first step by coming here, but you will have your individual sessions for your proper course. Um, they'll tell you about things like assessments, online resources, everything that you need to know about that course that you can't really find elsewhere. And there's also the department handbook, so if you can find that online and it has information um, kind of about the business school in and of itself, you might not. Uh, the library, uh, you might have been there on a tour, but it's just off to the east of Strand, um, and it's got a ton of resources aside from just books for your classes. They've also got a lot of study skills and a lot of kind of places to, to study, which is where all of us live during May. Um, so it's a really good idea to kind of familiarize yourself with it. I know for a couple tutorials, you have your classes in the library, and you will be lost if you don't go there. Um, other things you can do now is set up your KCL email, which you might have already done. You just go to Google KCL email and then the IP set it up through there. Um, the confirmation of study letter, basically you can access student records now. It has all of the official things that you'll need, like a confirmation of study letter, which is basically a letter from King saying that you're a full-time student. Um, you can also get information um, about housing, about fees, about things like that that you're going to need, as well as exam timetables and module results at the end of the year. Um, you can update your contact details since you probably just moved into halls. So that's important for teams to have. Um, something that a lot of people don't do is get a student Oyster card. Um, basically, you just send PFL online a uh, confirmation of study letter, and they'll send you your own um, student card to get money off of transport. Because London is very expensive, and you'll find yourself at the end of the year with no money to spend. Um, then you can also find your program timetable. Uh, so you have the Welcome to Kings app, which basically has everything for this week, but also on the app as well as timetables.kcl.ac.uk has a timetable for the entire year. There's even some exams on there, um, just so that you know ahead of time what you're going to need to do. Uh, last thing is register with the GP. So um, Kings at the Southeast Wing, fourth floor, they, we have our own NHS center. So you can go there and sign up and basically anytime you have an emergency or just a routine checkup or anything you need, you can just go online the portal and make an appointment, but if you live a little bit away from King, you can also sign up with a local GP and find yourself a little bit easier. Um, so discover King's. So as Professor Sally ever was talking about, there's a lot of things that you can do to get involved at King's, and um, King's really has an emphasis on doing things outside of just your course. So we're just going to run through a couple things that you can do. Um, so global mobility, she also spoke a little bit about this. Um, there's tons of opportunities to travel the world and study abroad. Um, if your course doesn't allow it, we also have a lot of ways to um, do internships and jobs abroad um, during the summer. And it's also a common purpose. Uh, basically, last year, uh, I think 20 of us went to Jakarta. And uh, this year, it's Bangalore and India. So every year, we kind of spend a couple of years there to kind of learn about the problems in that city and things that we've never seen before. Um, then you can get a mentor. Uh, so you'll always get emails about kind of um, sessions to meet with alumni and kind of uh, network with one another. So it's a really good idea to get a, um, the perspective of someone who's already graduated Kings, what they got involved with, what they did when they were here. Uh, find out what worked. So Kings Careers Connect is a really great resource. It's actually where I found my job for the summer. Um, basically, if you're looking for a part-time job during the school year or a summer internship or anything during the year, um, you can go on there, make a profile, and it has um, all sorts of opportunities for Kings students, whether you're undergrad, master's, PhD, any level, even alumni. Um, and to get involved, uh, there's so many things. So King Experience Awards uh, it basically rewards you just for doing things outside of your course. Um, there's one that um, I believe even if you went to another country like for holiday and you just learned about the culture there, you can write a little essay about it and then you get an award just for going and experiencing something new. Um, Sparsh did a couple of these, so I think you can talk to her later if you want more information. Um, then there's King Sport. We have gyms on every campus with classes and pretty cheap for students. Um, a lot of King's Halls also have gyms, so it's free for them. Um, and there's also King's Move, which is a really cool program that we have a video about later. 
um, ask your societies, I don't know if you know, but the Freshers' Fair is this Friday and Saturday at Barbican. Uh, it's a really good idea to go because there's more than 300 societies from like the Baking Society, the Makeup Society, and for all the sports. Um, and the kind of each and every one that has a stand and you can sign up to go to their uh, events for free for the first one. Um, so it's a really good idea to try something new with friends just because, you know, you can meet other people that go to Kings too. Um, and yeah, there's also the sports clubs. There's tons of sports and they also have competitive and social levels um, just in case you don't know if it's something you want to try. Other things you can do, uh, so there's tons of volunteer opportunities to, through KCL's youth. They'll email you for if it's around London or even around the world. Um, working, same thing with Kings <coughs> Careers Connect. You have opportunities and even resources to help you with kind of your career plan for the rest of your four years and after, or three years. Um, for research, you'll sometimes get emails from people who are doing research for their PhDs and how you can help them. And Kings also has a way to give you grant money if you are interested in doing your own research. Um, gaining new skills, we have the Entrepreneurship Institute and they're really good at holding events and um, things to kind of help you learn about a part of business that you might not be engaging with during your actual course. Um, they hold tons of talks and events throughout the year and it's a really cool thing to get involved with. Um, and then we also have um, a lot of student leadership opportunities. So that's kind of why we're here today as academic representatives. Um, we just, you just kind of join. Um, for me, there was no one doing it for German, so they forced me to. But best thing I ever did, because uh, we. <laughs> I'm going to hold you down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things that we get to do. Um, we actually, me, Sparsh, and three others of us, along with Daniel, we planned the first business ball last year, which was really um, successful. We get to speak at events like this. We got to go to a talk of the founder of LinkedIn. We got to work with Professor Sally Everett to kind of discuss the examinations and how we want to change them. So that's something that I would really recommend because um, it's kind of working with the administrators at King's to change things as opposed to just a student-led program. Um, and there's other opportunities as well, like um, student ambassadors, which is paid. King's 100 is basically 100 students across all ages and programs at King's, and they get paid to sit on a panel and talk about issues that are brought. So um, you'll hear about all of those, but it's a really cool thing to join. Is this a video? I don't know how to work it. There's no volume. I, don't know. I always knew there was going to be a technological difficulty. I told you. Okay, so we're just going to play this. This is our king's move, so no, no noise, <laughs> just observe. Because basically, this is an app which, if you register for it, you get points for doing the activity and you get freebies. So just. It's really quiet. Hi guys, so I'm Sparsh. I'm a third year business management student and you'll definitely be seeing more of me than you'd like to. So let me start with AKC, which is essentially an additional award that you can earn with your degree. And it, tells, it discusses more about the ethical and philosophical questions of life. So this year, the two topics are power to the people and journey inside London. So. Yeah, so this is something that you can do alongside your degree, and it's uh, more like four or five classes in one semester, and you get an additional Reggie the Lion on your court, so worth doing it. 
Um, supporting your journey, so definitely, you know, I've been there, I've been here, and I know it's overwhelming at every stage, but you have one-to-one -one support, you have um, services within Kings to support your journey, support you throughout your time here. So where can you go? The first thing, and obviously the main thing, is the student services, which is essentially where you find all information for visas, housing, money, disability, and you can book appointments, or you can just drop in. This is in the southeast wing in Bush House on the third floor, I think. So you can, you know, you can always go there, ask questions, take advice, or you can go to the website. You have the number. You also have the Meet Our Kings uh, Services uh, tab on the Kings app. If you guys don't have the app, definitely download it right now. It's as important as following us on Instagram. For advice information, so you know everything here, and also counseling and mental health support. So you have uh, you know counselors on campus. You also have peer supporters. Um, personally, you know I am also a peer supporter for the business school. So in case there is anything at any point of time that you want to talk about, you know simple things, serious things, uh, and you'll always see me somewhere around the campus. Feel free to drop by. To learn new skills, so you, you can also learn new study skills. There is the English Language Center in case you feel you're not so strong in English and you know you can always ask for help. Where else can you go for support? Uh, so if you have any academic worries, anything that you would like to know, any problems in your course, anything extra that you'd want to do, definitely speak to your personal tutor. You can also attend an advice drop-in. So these are uh, sessions happening in and around campus. You will definitely get to know about them. Definitely read the newsletters that we send. You might think it's a spam. It's definitely not. Check out the online study skills support. So there, is a, there are a lot of online support that is available. There is also a, a, a thing called Linda on Keats. Might not seem what it is, but definitely it's the skill support. You find things like um, computer programming, simple things like Excel, PowerPoint. Trust me, these are things that are going to help you. I've spent the entire summer doing just Excel, and this is what helped me. Trust me. Uh, now we have a video just to tell you everything again, but in a much better way. any questions about life at King's College London. Student services online is the fastest way to find the answer you need. Simply type to explore a huge selection of easy to understand, helpful articles and how-to guides. Or you can browse by topic to view information relevant to different areas of student life. This is where you find answers. Maybe you've got a question about your timetable or need to know what to do if you've lost your student ID. Or perhaps you're an international student wondering about visas or funding. We've also got all the information about the counselling and mental health support available at the university. And there's so much more. And if you ever need more support, send a question to our advisors in just a few clicks. For questions you wouldn't ask a textbook, visit Student Services Online. Smart search with direct links to support. Right, and now I'm glad I got to speak about this section because this is the most important one, to be honest. You always need time to relax. Uh, uni can be a lot of work sometimes, a lot of uh, you know, pressure about, th about submissions, about deadlines, about exams, and definitely uh, you, know, you need time to chill. So what can you do? You can join Be Active, which is essentially a social fitness uh, you know, sport that we have around Kings. It's more like yoga, meditation, Zumba, everything non-sports. So if you're like me who hates sports, hates exercise, this is for you. Uh, you can join a buddy scheme. So buddy scheme is essentially something that would be run by individual departments. We have this in the business school, and I'm sure you'll be meeting your buddies soon, maybe uh, this evening, I think. You can reach out to chaplaincy. So this is in the Strand campus. And you don't have to be a Christian to go to the chaplaincy. It's more when you need time out, you need time with yourself, you need you know, peace, quiet, and some free tea and biscuits. That's where you go. In London, so Kings uh, and London, because uh, you know, we have 
definitely we have the best location out of all universities. And uh, you know, it's this location that gives us advantage of interacting with not just people and resources within the university, but also outside of it. So within London, you can work with companies, schools, uh, you know, volunteer. Um, you can go teach, and all of this uh, is provided, and some, not all, but definitely some of this is provided within the university. So as a third year student, I have the opportunity to do a consultancy project, which is essentially us being paired up with companies and providing actual consultancy to startups, to entrepreneurship projects. And I think it's very useful because ultimately you have to go and work in these firms. Kings and culture, so you have uh, events, partnerships, and projects whereby you are interacting with the cultural communities and kings. You have the King's Cultural Challenge. Uh, you engage a lot with art and culture, and I'm sure if you follow them on Instagram, you'll know more about it. What else can you do? So It Stops Here is something that I personally uh, am a part of. So I'm also the women's officer with KCLSU, and It Stops Here is essentially about consent and about taking care of yourself and making the campus a safe space for everyone. So if you feel you know, there is something going on that you don't feel right about, it is about intervening, it is about taking action, and you can anytime join the program. We have workshops around campus. I would be advertising them. Follow me on Instagram as well. So you know, you, you'll, you, you'll know what's going on. King Sports is for those of you who, unlike me, love sports and would like to be a part of teams. You would like to do some co competitive things and you know, just uh, continue with your uh, sports passion. KCLSU societies, as mentioned by Kavya, there's a fair on Friday and Saturday where everyone would be there. So all societies, all clubs, all networks would be there, and you would be there, definitely. So go and check that out. Um, campus conversations is uh, more about having, uh, you know, conversations with other people on campus and engaging yourselves more with the community. So you can, you know, always. Uh, check out where these things are happening, and definitely the best thing is check out newsletters, King's website, follow things on Instagram, Facebook, for societies, just like business school, everything is out there. Take time out, now this is the best thing, because take time out runs mostly during exam time, so during Jan and then May. You know, during exams we are all studying in our rooms or in the library, and it's, it's not a very good scene to you know, be in the middle of, and sometimes you feel you know, overwhelmed being in that kind of environment, studying eight hours, nine hours a day. So take time out is essentially telling you to chill, relax yourselves, de-stress before an exam. It's really good. We have puppies coming around the campus. We have you know, nice uh, meditation, food stuff. So it's, it's all good, but during the exam times, and definitely enjoy London. You're in one of the best cities in the world. Personally, my favorite. And uh, it's not just about coming to university, studying and making friends, but also discovering yourself, discovering the city, and seeing you know, what other opportunities you have in and around campus. So I'm sure you would do that. But you know, other than the clubs, definitely go and see other places. It's uh, you know, worth taking a tour. And now the main thing. And that's when we get paid, so make sure it's agree, agree, and strongly agree now. No, no, no just, just, just kidding. Just be honest and uh, let us know if this has been a useful session. Thank you. OK, it's the same website and the same code. Amazing. Okay, who, who is this don't know? <laughs> don't do it just to you know, mess with us. Do it honestly. And if it's a don't know, definitely follow me on Instagram. Then you'll know everything. Um, another thing is uh, you guys should come to the reception tonight in Bush House on the eighth floor. Um, I, we'll both be there yeah. along with a couple of the other ambulance representatives. So anything that we talk about, like the ambulance representative program, things like that, we can talk to you guys about. Because uh, we'll be there doing nothing. There's free alcohol and food. <laughs> <laughs> food and drinks, food and drinks. Food and drinks and us. I mean, there's nothing else you need.
this still fairly consistent with what we had the first time around, but the next question I'm really interested in, so <laughs> let's see how people feel about the support at King's. <clears throat> very good, that's a much more positive, isn't it? A stark improvement over where we were about 20 minutes ago, so very good. Well done, Sparsh, well done, Capio. Okay. Have we got one more? All these 15 people need to meet us in the evening. Yeah, yeah, we'll Definitely. yeah you come this evening and we'll see. Is there one more? No, I think that's it. That's it? That's it, that's it. That's it. Um, all right, well, thank you all very much to Sparsh and Kavya, guys. Um, and I would just say that we are obviously modeling all of KCL and KBS uh, social wear, obviously. These you can buy in the KCL store. This you can buy in the KCL store. This you get if you're a student ambassador or a student rep. This you need to earn. Huh? You could have had one today. Anyway, amazing. Thank you very much. I hope you guys found that really helpful. Uh, so uh, if you get the mic off, Sparsh? Yeah. Oh, you've got it here, right. Personal Tutor Support Officer, uh, who's going to give you a run-through of all the things that are set on that slide right there. Just press down. Hello, everyone. Oh, I see lots of faces, but I heard no voices. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, that's better. You are listening. Um, so as Daniel um, introduced, my name is Angela. Um, I'm the Personal Tutor Support Officer. Um, I am quite new here at King's Business School as well. Not new to King's, but I started my role here in June. So there's a lot that I'm learning as well. So I feel still a little bit of a newbie, so I can understand where you're coming from. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about some of the support in the business school. Um, some of it's been mentioned by our ambassadors, which is fantastic, so I don't have to go over it again, but I'll just remind you. So looking at personal tutors, the wellbeing and peer support. So the personal tutor system. Um, every one of you will be allocated a personal tutor. You best find your, the details of those tutors on your student records. If it's not there, you will have one. There's a few people that I still need to allocate. I have personally allocated you all personal tutors, but if you don't have one, you will do have one by the end of the week. Um, you will generally have the same member of academic staff for the whole of your course, unless, of course, sometimes they go on sabbatical for their research or sometimes they leave, so you then would be reallocated to uh, another tutor. Um, but they are there with you throughout um, your course. They're there to help, guide and support you. Um, they may not be able to answer every question that you have, but they're there to help you discuss, help you um, learn into more independently, how to study differently, um, you should get an invitation from them within the next few weeks, inviting to a meeting. That would possibly be a group meeting with other first year students. They may be on your course, they may not be. Um, it could be on your own, but you've got the option for group meetings or one-to-one -one meetings. And we're expecting you to see them at least once a month. They are a valuable resource to you guys. Um, please do utilize them. They will discuss your academic progress. They're going to, like I said, help you develop your confidence with your independent learning and how you learn differently on your course. Um, they'll also discuss any options that you might have if any difficulty should arise during your course, and they'll then post you to the relevant services. They also want to encourage all the opportunities and experiences that you can get involved in. That's some of the things that our ambassadors have mentioned, so do um, take those up. At the end of the course as well, they will provide you re references. Um, so again, they want to get to know you. The more they know you, the better they can write a reference for you. There's also a senior tutor. Um, for this um, year, it's going to be Jane Sturgis. So you can also see her. She oversees the whole person in tu personal tutoring program um, and possibly deals with any sort of complex cases or any other situations. <coughs> so my top tips for a successful relationship with your tutor. Invest time. It can be difficult getting to know somebody you don't know, but make the time. Um, they're there to help you, support you, and guide you. Um, I want you to respect their time. If they email you, please do respond to the email. If they arrange a meeting with you, attend the meeting. They've got lots of duties. They've got a busy schedule, just like you guys will have. So their time is important, and they want to invest their time in you. Be honest and open when you talk to them. The more you can share with them, the more they can help you. Um, you can obviously email your tutor, but it's a bit, that can be a bit impersonal, so they have office hours, so go and see them within those times. Um, but if you are going to email them, resist doing it at some crazy hour. We don't want to get emails from people at midnight. I mean, you can email us at midnight if you wanted to, but don't expect an answer from us at that time. And do obviously give them time to respond in a timely matter, 
um, they're not going to be answering you straight away within two minutes or so, um, but they will, they will get back to you. And obviously, as I said, the better they know you, the better reference they can write for you, so do utilise them, go and see them. The other area that I'm really keen on is well-being. Now, Caviera and Sparsh, they did mention some of the things that you can access and support here, um, but I'm really keen on making sure that you guys manage your well-being um, to be successful students here. We want you to thrive and achieve. Um, so there's three key things that I want you guys to really think about. It's really about looking after yourself, also looking after others and asking for help when you need to. At King's, we use um, a framework called Five Ways of Wellbeing. It's a bit like having your five a day with fruit and veg. So it's keep moving, investing in relationships, never stop learning, give to others and savor the moment. And there's lots of opportunities to be able to do that. And we're going to do those, one of those things right now. You've been sitting for a little while, so I'd like everybody to stand up for me. You guys, I want you to take a bit of a stretch. Yep, shake it out. Okay, and we're going we're gonna to breathe. Just take a moment and breathe. Exhale. Okay, inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. One more time. Okay. Now, breathing, we do this naturally, what have you, but sometimes if you want to just take a moment, just focus on your breathing. If you're feeling a bit stressed or overwhelmed, focus on your breathing, taking some really good deep breaths is a really easy way to keep calm. So that's my top tip for you today. Okay, you please be seated. Looking after yourself is the number one. Um, the more you can do for your mental well-being um, and your general well-being is going to help with your academic success. So in the, as much as there's lots of stuff happening within the business school, and I kind of think, oh, can I compete with all of this? We will be doing some things specifically for the business school. So we want you to take some time out, relax, and possibly learn something new. So we're going to be offering midterm massages. I love a massage. And if you've got tense shoulders after sitting over your computer, that's always a good one. There'll be coffee and conversation type drop-in sessions, where, again, you can just sit, have a drink, and just have a talk. We'll be running some lunch and learn workshops. So again, if you want to learn a little bit more about goal setting or stress management or even possibly self-defense, um, we'll be running those as well. Now, there's lots to see around London and as much as it may seem a really busy, bustling city, there are lots of quiet areas as well. So we might be going on some stressless strolls, walk around the city in the local area to sort of take a bit of time out. These will start in October and our schedule for that will be on Keats. And going forward as well, there's going to be a well-being week in November. Now, this is a university-wide initiative, um, which a lot of student groups will run activities. So if anybody's interested in doing that, please see myself or Liv, the experience manager, um, officer, who will be able to help with that as well. There'll also be lots of online um, activity as well. As Daniel said, please make sure you're following us on Instagram. So there'll be Monday motivators, mindful moments, Fruity Friday. Um, top tips and short reads and possibly some modules that you can do, some extra study about how to look after yourself well. I love a good quote and I like to inspire and encourage people. So my quote there is, you really need to get up every morning with determination if you want to go to bed with satisfaction. Um, as the girls mentioned before, we have student services online um, and also Big White Wall, which is an online uh, mental health community that you students here can access. It's got lots of um, information and support on there. You can sign in, definitely take a look around because it's a really good resource. I uh, mentioned before, we've got disability support team. Um, they are obviously a dedicated service for students with any disabilities, learning differences, and mental health considerations. Um, they can also help with personalized assessment arrangements. There are lots of different ways that people can be assessed on their exams and their courses, so they can help with those. New for this, well, actually not new for this year, but I'm just new in the sense that I'm developing a little bit more. Um, the girls mentioned there are lots of mentoring programs around the university. We've got one here at the business school um, that you are very open, up to, you've got the option to sign up for. Our mentors will be second, third and fourth year students. They want to help you settle into Kings and the business school. They have the insider knowledge and you've heard from two of them already. Um, they want to share their experiences because they've been where you are. Um, they can also signpost you to relevant services as well. They'll run group and one-to-one -one sessions. I'm currently recruiting at the moment, um, so we have gotten people who really want to share their experiences with you. So if you want to sign up, please do. There'll be an online form that will be sent out to you. Um, you need to sign up for that by the 27th of September. 
Um, why would you be a mentee? Well, you're going to gain some advice and encouragement. You'll increase your confidence and your social skills. Um, and you'll definitely make some new friends across the year groups as well. And they're going to share you some insider tips. There's so much about kings to learn that even I don't know. So they're a good, it's a good shout. So to end my very quick presentation, um, I'm going to sort of share um, a quote from one of my favorite books um, by Dr. Seuss. Has anybody heard of him? Yeah? It's, used, it's from a book called Oh, The Places You'll Go. Now, this is often given to students when they've graduated and they're finishing. Um, but I really like this quote um, that says, you're off to great places, today's your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. I really want to encourage you guys to look after yourself. There's lots of support here. Um, welcome to the business school. Do get involved. Um, look after yourselves, look after others, um, and ask for help if you need it. Don't suffer in silence, because there are people there to help you. Thank you, and I hope to see you guys soon. Um, thanks, Angela, that's amazing. Just, I want to go back to a slide really quickly about personalised assessment arrangements. Um, Basically, you know, if you've got dyslexia, dyspraxia, or you're used to having a situation where you would um, have different arrangements when doing exams, everyone in this room in the business school, if you need this, sign up immediately because you guys all pretty much have midterms and they run, as they say, in the middle of the semester. So you need to make these applications this week, if not next week, so you've got them, they're done, so you don't have to worry about not having them in place in time. So please take that away as an absolute priority. Um, we'll, we've got links on this on your Keith's homepage, which I'll talk to you about in a little bit. Um, so really quickly, uh, apologies to those who were expecting to be on now, but we are running a little bit late, so I have to jump ahead to uh, Dr. Ilva Backstrom, who's a lecturer in banking and finance, who's going to talk about one of the extracurricular opportunities you can get involved in here at the business school called the Student Investment Portfolio. And with any luck, we'll play you a really quick video, and then Ilva can come and talk a little bit about it. Tonight's event was really about giving students a real-life opportunity to work as analysts, to prepare a stock from start to finish and to present it in front of an audience of professionals. So the Investment Fund portfolio experience has been unique in the resources that we've been given by King's Business School, namely the access to the Bloomberg terminals in the trading lab. We've been able to develop our technical skills. So having done research, creating models, has really given us a broad understanding of how the industry works and we're better prepared for a career in finance. I think it's extremely important for students to get involved in such an initiative because the world is moving fast and they need to know exactly what is happening in the financial world today. We have a large number of theoretical and applied modules, but now we want to put things into practice. So we want to have real money invested into real stocks. You get to put that passion into action, knowledge into practice, and that's just something that I think every student strives for. Okay, over to you, Ilva. Good morning. So my name is Ilva Beckstrom. I'm in the Banking and Finance Group, and I will not be teaching you this year, unfortunately, because I only teach on the postgraduate courses. But what I do is I co-run something that's called the Student Investment Portfolio. And as you've seen on the video, this is really an opportunity for you to get involved in, firstly, a competition about getting into the portfolio in the first place. So there'll be a selection process where you have to undertake a test. But don't worry about this. You'll be sent information in about a month's time how to do this. And it'll be placed on Keats and it'll be sent to you by email. And then we'll have a stock picking competition. So we create teams of groups where you pick stocks as a proper analyst and we'll follow the performance of that stock. And then we'll have a group of about 10 or 15 groups who will be presenting at the event that you saw here. We hosted last February. There'll be another event this coming February where those groups of people will be presenting in front of very senior people from the city. That is essentially the student investment portfolio. And we look forward to seeing applications from all of you. Please don't be scared about it. Just do it. Okay? Thanks, Ilva. Um, so probably particularly of interest to accounting and finance, the brand new program this year. Um, so we're sort of back on track, but just delayed. So we'll do Keats, and then we're going to do Library, then Entrepreneurship Institute. So uh, you've heard us mention Keats quite a few times already. This is our what we call our virtual learning environment. Um, let me just pull Hazard's email up here. Um, and this is basically, um, is that going to work? Well, this is the usual thing, right? Oh, no? Okay. So I need to log into my emails to find it. Uh, yeah, unless you've just got the link. 
It's in the email. Oh, okay. And press it just yes. doesn't. I press yes. yes. <laughs> Thanks, caveat. Always keep me right. Okay, just briefly explain Keats, and I'll follow the via my email. Sure. Okay, so Keats is our online learning environment. Um, it, oh, we might be there. It might be a bit easier with the... How, how close are we? What? Uh, to getting to the presentation. Uh, close. It's, it's close. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, it's our online learning environment. You um, may be familiar with uh, virtual learning environments like Blackboard, Moodle. I might, depending on how quickly <coughs> Daniel gets to uh, get the presentation up, it... I'll wait, if that's all right. It's just a bit easier uh, using the presentation. Of, of It's quite visual, and it moves through quite quickly. Oh, it might be a bit further. It's in that email, but a bit further... A bit further down. Uh, up, maybe, uh, from me. Hi, high class professionalism here. <laughs> hey, there we are. Okay, that Great. should do it. Thank you. And if you have prep, yeah, super. All right, Marvelous. let's start again. Just like we rehearsed. <laughs> hey. All right, so I support the online learning environment. Um, and does, is that working? Yes, okay. So uh, where I was before, you, you may be familiar with other uh, virtual learning environments, learning management systems such as Blackboard, Canvas, Moodle. Um, for it, they're used for activities such as forums, uh, interactive video and content, quizzes, um, and uploading assignments. Um, we use the KEAT system here that stands for King's E-Learning and Teaching Service, and it can be found at the university's uh, domain at the following address. What I'll briefly run through here is the uh, virtual learning environment we use, accessing it, navigating it. Then I go into submitting coursework um, and the similarity reporting service uh, that we use that's available to both you and teaching staff uh, uh, with a demo and uh, a quick run through our program pages. Um, and uh, you know, it's, a, it's one of the quicker demonstrations so to, in order to get on to Keats, it is part of the single sign-on service, so if you're already in Outlook, it should take you straight in. Um, and you'll, met with, you know, you'll be met with the My Courses page. So just to run through um, the layout, there'll be announcements on the left, the body in the middle that will list all of your modules, um, and blocks to the right that currently hold King's tweets and a calendar, and then the navigation along the top. If we move on to a example page that's quite um, minimal, uh, for, for a module you'll get the body on the left in most cases, a banner along the top, and then content going down. Um, blocks to the right, which I um, encourage you to explore. That, that this is, these are just two blocks linking off to more resources and King's careers, but modules will differ and they'll have various different blocks along the, the right and the left. And then navigation uh, along the top, as well as your profile, um, uh, link to your profile on the right. I thought I'd put this in a very short demo video um, recording, just to give you an idea um, of going through key. So uh, as I mentioned, with navigation, you might go through to college services, such as the library, um, quick links, such as your timetable, and then student help is, it will always be um, far right. This body section that lists your, uh, mo the modules that you have access to allows for a little bit of customization, such as um, hiding modules, filtering them by faculty or year. And your profile to the top right is where you can view your grades um, and access your preferences, such as changing um, your profile information or, or the editor that you use throughout Keys. We're just going to search for an example module in the top right, right here. So you can search your modules just by entering the, the name or the code, pressing enter, and you get your list of results. We're going to click on the example page <coughs> and just briefly go through the example page. So, uh, as I said, the, you'll, you'll, you can expect the title and banner to be at the top, 
Um, some, sometimes you'll see an announcement section here and content in this, in this uh, top section. I'm going to expand the module overview. Um, you'll see further content here. On most of our pages, we will have the course readings and lecture captures linked to um, in, that, in that section one. Um, and, and with this overview, the, the, the teacher here has uploaded uh, documents via PDF and the announcement section that will also push announcements through to your email. So what I thought I'd demonstrate here is just the ability to close that through the, that close all link and then open the, the remaining links where in most pages you'll, you'll find um, various content including quizzes and interactive content going down. As mentioned before, I, um, blocks along the right could contain anything from calendars to announcements to links to other areas. Um, and I think we are done. And, and just to reiterate, you'll always see your navigation uh, along the top and your profile link to to the right. So to cover Turnitin and originality reporting, um, this is really for text-based submissions. I know it was mentioned here that you might be submitting video and other types of content, um, but you're really looking for these two, the, these two icons uh, on a, a, any given module homepage. And <clears throat> the similarity report that both you will um, be able to view and teachers will look uh, something like this. Um, with the similarity highlighted on the left and uh, the similarity score um, on the right. You have the opportunity to upload your uh, text-based work in, in Word format or PDF as many times as you need to up until a due date, um, and you'll, you'll get a new similarity re uh, report each time. So if it's particularly high and you're wondering why, um, it, that will be listed on the right, and it, you'll be able to make adjustments if needed. The last item is just to um, point out the program pages. You'll all have different program pages. Uh, I, I encourage you to explore them. They'll, it'll, be, it'll list re relevant information to yourself. Uh, a lot of that will be surfaced from the handbook. Um, if this go, with, with this slide, it just go, goes further down the page. And um, start off with the welcome video and, and the welcome section right at the top. So that's me for today. Um, just to recap, Keats is at that address. Uh, we're, we're doing as much as we can to um, innovate and taking on a lot of new initiatives um, and, and trying to support the ambition that the school has around Keats and its <coughs> content and would always welcome feedback um, from you. And I'll direct you to that address for it. I hope that was of, of some help. Uh, it's good to see you and thank you. Thank you very much, Harris. Okay, uh, thanks. I'm going to pass your mic to James. Cool, okay. Yep. Um, I'll go through and put you back to Keith's page a little bit, a little bit later. Um, but I want to say something. Uh, about That's turn it fun. in, if you get a high originality score, do not panic about it, okay? The main thing you need to remember is that if you reference correctly, you are not in danger of any plagiarism, okay? But there's a plagiarism policy on your Keith's home page, which you just need to make sure you understand. But when you're doing very short essays, it's likely you're going to get a slightly higher turn-in percentage because you will be quoting more work. So the percentage is not the main worry. How original your essay would be as a result of that would be questionable. But as long as you're referencing properly, you don't have to worry about plagiarism, and you'll get to know how to do that. So uh, James Goldsmith here is now talking very uh, briefly about the library. Um, we're running a little behind time, so that's okay. Be brief. Not uh, a problem. Press the down button. Cool. Um, hey guys. Yeah, you can all hear me. I can hear myself. This is good. Um, firstly, apologies, I've got a bit of a head cold, um, so the, basically one of the side effects of that is my voice has gotten a lot lower, which makes everything I say, uh, say sound really serious, so really serious presentation. Um, so my name is James, uh, I work at the Morn Library just down the road. Can I get a quick show of hands just to see who's been to the Morn Library so far? This is a judgment-free zone, there's no problem if you haven't. <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, the Morn Library is part of the Strand Campus uh, that we're currently kind of in, in this side of London, like north of the river. Um, you might already know that there are five campuses at King's College, 
Uh, all of them are pretty much in central London. So we have, uh, as I said, the Strand campus here. Uh, we've got Waterloo, which is the next closest one, just across the river. Um, and that includes another library. Uh, we've got London Bridge. So the guys is basically by the Shard. So look for the Shard and walk and you're there. Uh, and St. Thomas's as well, which uh, paired with guys is basically an NHS or medical focused site. So I'm not going to say you'll never go there, but you're probably not going to go to those ones. Uh, and we have the Western Education Centre, which curiously is in the east of London. Uh, and that's in Denmark Hill. So each one of these campuses has a library attached to it. Uh, the biggest one uh, is the Morn Library. We've got a couple of million books in there. Uh, and it's like five stories. Uh, to shatter a, a myth that you guys might have heard about, it's not Dumbledore's office in Harry Potter. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <coughs> Uh, so yeah, just to uh, hone in a little bit on the Strand campus and the Morn Library. Uh, so I didn't know it did that. That's really good. <laughs> so uh, the library information points are staffed from half past eight to half past eight uh, in the evening uh, every weekday. And on the weekends we are staffed uh, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. Uh, being in London, we've, we're surrounded by other universities. so. Uh, Basically, we've got a collaborative uh, project with a lot of other universities called the University of London. That means that if you have, oh, if you've got one of these King's cards, you basically get walk-in access to uh, any of UCL's libraries, any of LSE's, um, and pretty much any London university. Apart from Imperial, those guys left. It's very messy. Um, and... So what I wanted to talk about was a little bit about what the library offers in terms of space. So uh, unsurprisingly, we have computers in the library. We've got dedicated computer rooms. Um, you guys might be interested in some of the more uh, group study rooms, which are more uh, focused around collaboration work. Uh, study pods, um, so they're for like, drop-ins with one of our senior library assistants if you want to pick up some, uh, some stuff around essay writing or um, things around uh, critical appraisal with them. Uh, we also have well-being spaces as well, uh, just to follow up on what has previously been talked about, and uh, a cafe, because everyone needs a coffee, right? So we also, within our libraries, have like dedicated zones uh, for your study, so some of you might really want to just knuckle down, just bang out an essay, and just do that in a silent zone. Uh, we've got quiet zones, which are basically uh, kind of you can actually whisper <laughs> to each other in those. And, um, but each of the silent and quiet zones are phone free as well. Uh, and we do have a discussion zone um, if you guys want to sort of hang out and do work in a much more informal setting as well. Uh, and all of this is labeled on our library maps, which you can find on our website. Uh, we also have a noise line as well. So it's not dubbing anyone in. It's basically if you're being disturbed by anything at all, uh, you can basically get in contact with us and we can investigate that. For you. It's not as sinister as it sounds. So we also have other facilities as well. As I mentioned before, uh, we have computers, we have a lot of IT uh, dedicated areas in our libraries. Uh, we have a, obviously a print copy scan service as well, which IT supply. Uh, and we have charge boxes for your devices as well. Uh, and we've also got uh, a lot of self-service stuff, so you don't have to renew your books. They're automatically renewed for you. Uh, we've got, um, obviously, parts of our opening hours are not sort of staffed, so we have, like, a self-service return thing, so you can just get on and do that and come in. And we have more sort of specialist uh, stuff available as well. So we have uh, dedicated library guides for specific uh, subjects, um, which can pick up on various aspects of your uh, research or your courses. We have like dedicated reading lists. We've got recommended reading from other students. Um, all these areas also have some really useful stuff on careers as well, which you might be interested in. And uh, this is something that you'll probably use quite a lot of. It's King's Learning uh, and Skills Service. Uh, this is not just library stuff. It's a lot of stuff that we, uh, we offer in terms of um, you know, skills around uh, academic writing, sort of presentation skills as well, which you'll probably need to use throughout your degree. Um, evaluating information, 
um, and how research data works as well, which you'll probably get into in maybe a second or third year. Uh, and library specific stuff that we offer. Uh, so we have dedicated workshops which we teach you things around uh, literature searching. Um, a lot of you might not have done that already, so we have stuff specifically on that. We also have things on systematic reviews if you're going into um, a bit more depth as well with subjects. And we have drop-in sessions where you can pick up on some of these, the aspects of these workshops with our senior library assistants. Uh, and also we have appointments which you can, we're going to be able to offer you um, probably just through the autumn and spring terms where we can go into a bit more depth and you can book with one of our team and we can really get into some of the issues you might be having with your work. Uh, and yeah, just to give you a very brief uh, overview of what you'll probably see when you walk into one of the libraries. So uh, you'll see a student services desk where they can pick up stuff around student life with you. Um, you'll have a tech bar, so unsurprisingly supplied by IT. And those guys can uh, fix any of your device problems, uh, connection to the internet, um, anything that you think could just be sorted out quite quickly. Uh, and a library information point where we can pretty much direct you to either of them or we can sort of pick up any issues that you might be having with regards to resources as well. Uh, and in terms of getting in touch with us, please do come in and see us. Um, I know the Maud's quite an intimidating looking building, but please come in and we'll be really happy to help. Uh, we also have a 24-7 Ask a Librarian service uh, where you can ask us again kind of anything that you really need help with immediately uh, and we can pick that up with more senior members of staff and senior librarians. Uh, and also our website kind of has everything ever on it, which is pretty impressive. Uh, so yeah, I just want to conclude by saying thank you very much uh, for having me. Uh, welcome to London. Um, you're going to get a lot of information this week, so don't worry if, you've, if you uh, forget any of it, but do come in and give us, a, give us a shout if you need anything at all. All right. Cool. Thanks so much, Dave. Thank you. Uh, all right. I'm going to uh, hand your mic to um, Leonie there. Um, a couple of things, by the way. When you leave, I've already said this, you must leave via this bottom door, okay? And the reason why you have to do that is because um, Macmillan are here, kind of connected to the library. They've got a study skills stand just outside. So you can go and engage with them and get some uh, fun, uh, maybe, well, helpful. I don't know how fun it is. I haven't seen it. Uh, but come down, go out, and go and speak to Amanda, who's from Macmillan. Uh, so over to Lini Jad from the Entrepreneurship Institute, uh, who's going to uh, explain exactly what it is that they do and how you can get involved. Do do Just clip it on to your lanyard. Which bit's that? Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Monday morning. Oh. <laughs> um, and also, just a very brief announcement before I forget, uh, just in case someone's lost their rucksack, we've had a rucksack handed in, it has a laptop in it, it was left out there, it's been handed into the South East Building reception, not this building, Bush House South East, it's with security, it's safe, you can go and collect it afterwards. Over to you, Lini. Thank you. Press down on the... Perfect. Hello everyone, good morning, welcome. Uh, who here is interested in entrepreneurship? Okay. Keep your hand up if you're interested in starting a business. Put your hand back up if you're interested in entrepreneurship but not interested in starting a business. Okay, you should all have your hands up at that point because entrepreneurship is relevant to all of you whether or not you plan to start a business or not. Um, and I'm going to tell you why and I'm going to tell you why the Entrepreneurship Institute will help you and you need to come and engage with us. So we're based in this building too, opposite the business school, so super close. We're up in the same level as you come in on Bush House, but on the right-hand side. Um, and we're there, and we offer loads of different services um, and activities and events you can engage with, which I'll run over now. Um, but also, we'll have ambassadors floating around campus, and there'll be some outside, actually, at the end of the lecture. So if you want to find out more, you can go and talk to them. Um, so we um, exist because we want to help people develop entrepreneurial mindsets at King's. Um, we think this will help you prepare for the changing world of work, regardless of whether or not you want to start a business. Um, and this is also believed by the whole of the King's education system, and it's even in the education strategy, um, that what we want to do is create highly employable, ambitious, and entrepreneurial problem solvers, because that's what we're going to need in the future, ready to adapt to the changing world of work, 
um, and with new problems comes new opportunities. So we need entrepreneurial minds to address problems and create new businesses and solutions. And last year, we won the Times Higher Education Award for Outstanding Entrepreneurial <coughs> University. So we're award winning and lots of the great work that we've been doing is now being copied by other universities across the country, um, especially our accelerator program where we work with 20 ventures a year and put them through an accelerator program, put them in front of, audience of audiences of investors. Just last Thursday, we had this whole room filled with over 200 investors plus other people who were looking to support our ventures who've been through our program. Um, and so loads of our ventures have gone off to do really cool, amazing stuff, and you can find out more about them, uh, for example, in our magazine, which will be in all of your goodie bags as well. So at the Institute, like I said, we're there to help um, develop entrepreneurial mindsets. We do this through inspirational events, learning opportunities that build skills and nurture great ideas. So some of our stuff is focused on helping people with startups. So like I said, we have an accelerator and the um, support package that people get from that is worth around 60,000 pounds per venture. Um, but we also do loads of things to help people come up with ideas and help them develop skills that we think relate to entrepreneurship. Um, we're a team of nine and we co-work in the Institute with the ventures that are on the accelerator. So we've got a bit of like a startup vibe in there. Um, and importantly, we're an institute and we're not a society or a faculty. So we're part of the university, we've got paid staff, we've got resources and investment from the university itself. Um, but we also are separate from any academic uh, study or programs, which means that what we do is additive. Um, but we also collaborate with all of the faculties in one way or another, and we do do stuff with the business school, which you'll hear about throughout the year. Um, and in terms of societies, we work with them. So we have a fund for societies where they can apply for up to £2,000 of funding to run an entrepreneurial event or initiative. <coughs> so if you're involved in a society, um, check out the back of the magazine to find out a bit more about that. Um, and we will support student society staff and alumni from any year because uh, we believe that entrepreneurship is important for everyone. So there's lots of different reasons people are getting involved. So like I said, you don't have to want to start up a business to want to get involved. Um, there's obviously career aspirations around uh, control, flexibility, choice, creativity, um, preparing for the changing world of work, like I said, solving problems. Um, and making a difference, so social enterprise is something that we work with as well. So if you're interested in social enterprise, come and check that out. Um, and also we think King's people make great entrepreneurs. So the fact that you're here at this university probably makes you well placed to explore entrepreneurship anyway. Um, so these are all the different things that we have on offer. So we have an enterprise award idea factory where the finals at the House of Lords. We do a venture call, everyone gets on a London bus and goes around and visit innovation hubs around the city. We've got our magazine, which you've all got a copy of. Um, we've got online resources on Keats. We can help people with visas. We fund societies. We do networking skills training. We have an accelerator and we have a women's entrepreneurs program. So there's loads of stuff going on throughout the year, whether you just want to dip into one workshop or whether or not you've got your eyes on the accelerator, uh, there's something for everyone. Um, and just in five years, we've already managed to build a community of 10,000 supporters with over 300 investors. 15 of our ventures have won awards. Uh, 61 people completed our Enterprise Award last year. Uh, we've got partnerships with Santander. We're working with several other universities and nine other universities now take part in the venture crawl, which we started. Um, in terms of our inspirational stories from the Accelerator, they range from everything from beer to technology that helps people, helps doctors detect the signs of cancer sooner. So we've got a real mix of things and we're working across all the faculties and all the departments. So whatever your area of interest is and application of business, there'll be something there for you to get involved with. So um, in terms of next steps, please, please read your magazine. There's no advertisements in there. It's just 47 pages of great content, um, inspirational stories and information on the seven skills of an entrepreneurial mindset, which is what we want you all to develop. You can sign up to our mailing list um, by scanning this or speaking to one of our ambassadors outside at the end um, and come in and see us. We do drop-ins as well. So uh, I look forward to seeing you all throughout the year and welcome to King's. Thank you very much, Lini. Uh, okay, uh, Paul. You give your mic to that gentleman there. Okay, so in the spirit of the Entrepreneurship Institute, we've now got society elevator pitches. So this is a term you're going to hear a lot if you haven't heard it already. So we brought, we've invited some key societies to come and speak to you today. Uh, I know I've got uh, the Business Club here. I know I've got Maps over there. I know I've got Nactus. Um, have I got Kings Consulting and Finance? Is that you? Ah, good timing. And have I got Global Markets? Global Markets? Maybe not here. All right, presentation. 
The instruction that I've given to these guys is that they've got three minutes. So literally, I'm going to time them. And as soon as the bell rings, oh, is that working? Oh. Oh, if you form it, you'll delete everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, well, I don't know. Maybe Mac and Windows incompatible. OK, you need to sort that out. Enactus, let's bring you up. Let's try and get a backup. Let's go. <laughs> this is how we respond to things. USB. Yeah. Hopefully, we're not going to have the same problem twice. Hopefully. Which one are you? Uh, both of them, technically. Well, just in case I can. Yeah. Thank you. Success. All right. Press down. Okay. Yep. Three minutes. Starting now. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Serena. My name is Shivani. And we're members of Enactus KCL. Enactus is an entrepreneurship platform for social action. It provides students with the opportunity to contribute in solving the global issues that they are most passionate about by setting up social enterprises. Enactus st students develop projects all over the world in the hopes of helping advance the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals. If you want to develop important skills such as leadership, problem solving, team development, and obtain direct business experience in finance, marketing, and communications, Enactus is definitely the society for you. To support our members in their social entrepreneurship endeavors, Enactus KCL has a variety of corporate advisors that act as mentors to our team to help them reach our full potential. Our corporate advisors are highly passionate about Enactus and provide us with a wide range of incredible opportunities, such as bi-weekly training with Amazon, visits to Visa's Innovation Center, workshops with Unilever, and feedback sessions with Ernst & Young. In addition, Enactus UK hosts a, no a lot of uh, events concerning social enterprise, sustainability, leadership, and employability throughout the year that you will not want to miss. At the end of each year, all Enactus teams participate in a worldwide competition to showcase the inspiring projects that they have developed and the lives that they have impacted. Judging panels are composed of CEOs and corporate executives from the Enactus network of sponsors. Over the past 10 years, Enactus KCL has been dedicated to make the world a better place through social entrepreneurship. We have consistently ranked very highly in the Enactus competition and in 2016 reached finalists at World Cup in Silicon Valley. Enactus KCL is currently running five projects across five different countries. Light Mountain is our clean cooking stove enterprise based in Tanzania, aiming to reduce respiratory diseases from indoor air pollution. Step Forward is working to produce expandable shoes to prevent the devastating condition of mossy foot, affecting over 1.5 million children in Ethiopia. Hydro Grow provides employment opportunities to vulnerable youth in London through a hydroponics business initiative. Jalea is increasing the access to clean water in Sri Lanka through the development of at-home water filters tailored to the region's water supply. Lakshmi is aiding in the financial inclusion of women in agriculture by producing organic beauty products in India. Enactus allows students to transform vision into reality. 72,000 Enactus students participate annually, spread across 36 countries, and are impacting the lives of over 1.3 million people. Please find us at the Freshers' Fair and follow us on social media for more updates about our taster sessions and socials, which will be in collaboration with Amazon. Thank you. That was two, two minutes and 58 seconds, so Enactus have really done their homework. That was very, very good. Um, OK, uh, in a true entrepreneurial spirit, the business club are just going to link to their website. Good idea. Um, so this is Paul Benter, who is actually a German and, yeah. German and law student from the law school, but president. So uh, should I pull it up? King's Business Club. King, King's Business Club. Is that what I'm saying? No, no, no. King's Business Club. That's what I'm 
You keep me right. There we go. There we go. Okay. Ooh, get attached. Hold on. Let me get this down. Okay. Three minutes. Ready? Yep. Go. Good morning. I'm Paul. I'm president of the King's Business Club, King's uh, biggest business society. Um, we're based on audience, at least in the UK. Uh, uh, last year, we had over 50 events. Um, uh, together with other student societies across London. So um, if you want to uh, come to the, uh, some events at LSE, UCL, Imperial, um, we partner with them quite a lot with the biggest business societies there. Uh, we are split up into four different departments. Uh, we have a finance department, organizing events in collaboration with uh, investment banks, etc. We have a consulting department that organizes events in the, the area of consulting. Uh, startup and business, uh, where we partner with a load, loads of interesting uh, young companies. And uh, we have an international trips department where we organize uh, trips to two different cities around the world a year. This year it's going to be Berlin and uh, Vienna, if I'm not mistaken. Um, each one of these trips has a specific theme where um, last year, for example, we, had, uh, we went to uh, Milan and New Delhi. Um, the New Delhi trip was uh, kind of FinTech themed while the Milan trip was um, more uh, fashion themed, so uh, we went to fashion companies while in uh, India we went to a lot of uh, young fintech companies. Um, all of these four departments are also recruiting later this month, so uh, look out for our uh, page on Facebook and uh, the recruitment posts on there. Um, we do uh, several types of events, mostly we do talks uh, where you get introductions to things that might not be covered in the curriculum. Um, we do Q&As with professionals, uh, we do panel discussions with, uh, for example, associates uh, in investment banking. Um, so they will discuss a certain topic. Um, and then networking events, obviously, where you can network with associates across different industries and with your fellow students that at some point might be your colleagues as well. Um, yeah, and if you want to follow us, uh, search King's Business Club on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, we're currently rolling out a new corporate identity, so this is the new logo, kind of a um, sneak peek uh, on our new website. Um, yeah, give us a follow, uh, stay updated, or email me at uh, hello at kingsbusinessclub.co.uk. Thank you very much. Right. Also nice piece of time. Um, so next up, we've got... MAPS, which is the Marketing, Advertising, and PR Society. Um, so, um, lots of really cool events, but this is Danush. Hello, hello. Can I get that attached to your tie? Be the best person for it. You want to see? Oh, uh, no, I'll just, just show there. them my face. Oh. <laughs> just going to show your face. No. <laughs> <laughs> what am I logging into? Oh, just KCL MAPS Facebook, just Google. Forward slash Facebook. Miss the S off again, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> Must be this keyboard, the S isn't working. This one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. And I'll just scroll down to our okay. latest post. Okay. Right, three minutes. You good? Yeah. Go. So, good afternoon, everyone. So, I'm from the KCL Marketing, Advertising, and PR Society. So what we do each year is that we host a wide variety of events relating to the industries of marketing, advertising, and PR. And so we're a society that aims to empower students with these skills. So what we do is that we get speakers with experience in these industries. So last year we had people who came from Google, people who were working in the film industry. We even had people who were working in the healthcare communications industry. So we hold a wide variety of events and we also hold workshops. So last year we had workshops on graphic design and branding. We're aiming to expand our workshops this year. So if you have any ideas, please contact us via our social media handles. And um, each year we also hold an annual flagship event. It's, it's our digital marketing hackathon called Viral. So look out for that in second semester. Particip participants partner up with enterprises from the King's 20 Accelerator and they get to curate their digital marketing plan for them. 
So it's a very interesting opportunity with many benefits, such as real life digital marketing experience. So as you can see, there's a wide range of careers and options when you build your skills in the marketing, advertising, and PR industry. So we would really like to see all of you there. We have events coming up. So on the 25th of September, Wednesday, from 6 to 7.30 in Activity Room B, Bush House Southeast, uh, we, have, we have a meet and greet. And on the 26th of September in, in Bush House Southeast 2.12, we have an event by a lady, Royzen McCarthy, who's got 10 years of marketing experience in the corporate uh, space and has worked with L'Oreal. So she'll give a talk on how to build your career in the marketing and industry. So we look forward to seeing you. Please don't forget to buy your KCLSU membership. And please uh, remember to follow us on our social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and we also have an email. So thank you so much. Thank you, Bert. Thank you, Bert. Um, we got economics and finance here. No economics and finance? OK. Global um, markets. We're next. You're here, aren't you? Yep. Happy yeah. Stevens. You're eating into your three minutes here, Matthew. Come on. Get that on your tie. You can tell he's from global markets because of the suit. Um, okay. Uh, USB? Yeah. One sec. Very flash. I try my best. <laughs> Press down, three minutes, ready? Yeah. Press down, yeah? Press down. Right, go. Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to KCL. My name is Nick, and I'm the head of guest research for King's Global Markets this year. King's Global Markets is a society that focuses on generating high quality economic research. And each month we combine this research into two reports, which we then post via Facebook, LinkedIn, email, and hopefully literally the post soon, to financial institutions all over the city. Now this year, we're really looking to continue to build upon our successful relationship with investment banks specifically. Many of us, uh, many of them <laughs> already know us due to the network sessions that we've set up. And because we're that one student society which does economic research in its spare time. Currently, we're setting up events with Goldman Sachs, Bloomberg, and Amplify Trading, as well as a few boutique banks. But we're also actually currently close to being oversubscribed. So please be sure to sign up in order to not miss our events. And for the ambitious, well, please apply for a role in guest research. As the exposure that you'll get with your articles is ridiculous. All right. So please use the, the oops. Please use the links below, and I'll see you all later on in the drinks. Thank you. All right. Let's get back. Uh, all right, so I don't think we've got econ and finance, no, and we haven't got the King's Consulting and Finance, no. So last but not least, uh, very happy to present Furkan Khan, uh, who is representing KCLSU, who is, I want to say, VP for Welfare. Don't know that. Doesn't need that. Uh
variety of events, whether you are a keen athlete or you know you're just looking to dabble into football and you know have that really jock feel at Kings. You know, this is uh, we will help you and support you throughout everything. I'm gonna talk a bit about the Macadam Rugby Cup. Uh, any rugby players or fans? No man. It's just me and you then. It's cool, it's cool. Anyways, every year we have the Macadam Cup Rugby in which wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So, KCL at the GKT School of Medical Education, we have a rivalry which almost mirrors the one we have with UCL. Uh, I will not ask you how many of you applied to UCL but still chose uh, Kings because I know that answer. Uh, it is, uh, we have our own inter-college varsity called the Macadam Cup, so whether you're an athlete or just a spectator, watch out for this event. It's going to be really intense, really good, and yeah, you will have a really, really interesting time. Uh, furthermore, moving, off, uh, moving onwards, KCSU prides on women empowerment. We have an initiative called This Girl Can, in which we have many amazing clubs led by female students, and we'd love to encourage you to get involved as much as you can, whether that be sports, uh, by the way, yoga, neon runs across the Thames. Uh, by the way, it's called Thames here, not Thames. I learned that after two years. Oh, gosh. And, uh, yeah, and many, many more interesting activities. Now we talk about varsity, in which I will need all of you. So the thing is, uh, UCL may best us on some uh, league tables, but we can show them who's boss on the field. That is why I need as many as many of you to please participate in our varsity cup, in our varsity competition, which is held <coughs> time around March. And uh, yeah, please help us out. It wasn't that good last year or the year before. I played for KCLFC, so. But anyways, moving on to volunteering and fundraising. So we've got over 50 volunteering and fundraising student groups uh, aiming to make a difference in the community or raise money for the good cause. Last year, groups raised thousands of pounds for lots of different causes, and that's not a vague statement at all, but we did good. But one thing we invested money in is your well-being. And that is why we have a well-being week, which is coming this November. Now, we have tons of activities planned, even one called Doggy Bee Stress. Any dog, puppy fans? Cat fans? Yeah, I guess it's, 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 it's Doggy Bee Stress, people. Uh, not catty something. Uh, but yeah, do come, enjoy. This is uh, one of our activities in which we aim to you know, build a sense of community among us and, you know, like, basically chill out. Moving on, uh, Liberation Networks. Okay, so... These are student communities made up of individuals, uh, groups, and societies who aim to combat oppression, discrimination, and equality, which is unfortunately a harsh reality. They aim to connect us and oh, it's right here. Connect us, highlight current issues, empower us to act collectively, and bring about change. So, if you want to, you know, adopt leadership positions, you know, bring about change in your time, make your time and things more meaningful. Liberation networks is to join. Moving forward, when we come to UD and campaigning, I do have time, right? Okay, okay, I'm gonna rush through now. So, UVN campaigning, just make a difference. Um, <laughs> student leaders, this is how I came to be standing up here. Autumn elections coming up, spring elections in March. Uh, if you want, if you want to bump up your CV, if you want to, you know, adopt leadership positions, uh, you really need to run and have an interest in this. These leaders work within the roles, such as I, to make a real difference and, you know, have videos on YouTube. So, yeah, everyone likes that. Moving on, academic rep. Um, so basically, you can uh, you know you can run an election to become an academic rep. You can facilitate discussions with your classmates, develop ideas, solutions, and present your experiences and ideas to uh, the decision makers. Basically, you will flex over your classmates all the time. I did that my first year. I encourage you to do so as well. And moving forward, uh, student media. We have an award-winning media team. Uh, we have Roar News, Photography Society, KCL Radio. It is a place where you can get involved with all of these things. Moving on, venues and cafes. Everyone likes a quick coffee in between lectures, um, or water. So we run the union shop, we've got fantastic venues. Get a totem card, it'll give you a 10 to 25% discount. Check out our zero waste shop called the Not Store, opening today, I think, yeah, it's open, it open at 11. So yeah, come check it out, we've got the shack, the shed, the guys bar, the vault, Parties all around, you know, KCL, make your, make, make your time the best time. Moving on, shop. So the union shop, you know, as you can see, I'm flexing my merch. Daniel's flexing his merch. You can get some of that merch at our union shop. You know, clothing, accessories, anything which will help you battle the uh, abhorrent British weather. So, yeah, buy your stuff. You know, yeah, cool, cool. KCSU 
Patreon.org, your helpline, your help desk for any problem you have regarding anything. We we just we like to describe ourselves as King's College critical friend, you know. So if there's anything mess up, if they you know slip out, tell us. Contact us through our website. We make sure that it gets fixed. And anything and everything you go know, from information to activities, kcsu.org. Uh, then we have events, yeah, plethora of events, parties and stuff. So yeah, cool. Um, Oh yeah, yeah. London is expensive. You learned that the hard way, so I really encourage you to get totem card. If this wasn't reported, I would have suggested some more brands. Google that uh, to get <coughs> discounts, uh, to get better discounts uh, across London. Yeah, the big print card. Okay, then we have KCU two hubs, uh, our help desk basically. Anything, any problem, anything, just contact us through the hubs. We call them hubbies, which I don't think is a really good choice for name. Uh, if you want some cringy, but yeah. Uh, from your guys' campus, Waterloo, Bush House, and Denmark Hill, which just recently opened. Uh, this is that space, which is for you. We have a party. Is it today? Friday. Friday. It's a party on Friday. Please join us. It'll be amazing. Moving forward. Oh, yes. I see one last minute. We're almost done. Wrapping up. I've got a minute. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, finally. Uh, we look forward to having you as part of our union. Uh, hashtag KCLC welcome. And, uh, and I'm done. One last thing. Okay. I have bitten off more than I can chew, and I really need your guys' help. So the thing is, this is a new Samsung Galaxy S8, and I promised the union I'd bring up a good video. So I will need your help. I'm, uh, if everyone is comfortable in, in being part of a small Snapchat, I would really need you guys to chant one thing. I'm going to record, and I will say, who is there for me and you? I need you guys to chant in a really vigorous voice, KCLSU. Can you guys do that? Is that doable? Yes? Yes? Yes. Please. I need a raise. <laughs> okay, so, I on three, okay? To say a simple thing, who is there for me and you? KCLSU. KC, it's not KCLSU, it's KCLSU, okay? Okay, great, 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 great. great. <laughs> For me, which is very, very upsetting, I will come into your program induction later on this afternoon. Make sure you guys all go to your program inductions, okay? They follow business management, economics and management today, international management, accounting and finance, your tomorrow. You've got a compulsory career session on Wednesday. Do not miss it. The King's Business School has got a bespoke careers department who will help you with all the things careers and employability wise. And yeah, that's it. And the very, very final thing before we go is that we, I want all of you on our Instagram channel, which you're all going to follow, so please say cheese, class of 2022 20, or 23. Cheers, right, you're free to go. Thank you very much. Enjoy Welcome Week.